what if your customers are trying to find your business online, but instead of finding you, they find your competitors? Now, more than ever, it's time to make sure you have the right SEO to make your business stand out online. Welcome to Go Mind Your Business with Terry Bork, presented by Extreme Marketing Concepts, putting your business in front of the hungry herd of buyers who are looking for you right now. Extreme Marketing Concepts, helping you drive more traffic, dominate the market, and crush your competition. And now, here's Terry. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Go Mind Your Business. My name is Terry Bork. Ken, I'm really excited to have you guys with me today because I have a really special guest. You know, I always talk about generating residual income for yourself and the importance of having passive income streams so that you don't have to work harder. You can just work smarter. And today, my special guest is Mr. David Perdue with NAMS, which is the Novice to Advanced Marketing System. Welcome to our program today, David. Hey, Terry. How are you? Glad to be here. Great. Thank you so much for joining us today and taking time out of your day. Let me share a little bit about David with you guys. Like I said, David is the CEO and the Chief Architect of NAMS, which is the Novice to Advanced Marketing System. David has used all of his skills as a journalist, consultant, entrepreneur, and has built one of the most successful and fastest growing business training workshops available today. Um, the Novice to Advanced Marketing System is a step-by-step -step, uh, tutorial system focusing on team trying tools to help novice to advanced people become even more successful. David started his journey with NAMS uh, back in what, 2000 and Three, David? Well, actually, the workshop uh, and the NAM system really started in 2007, 2006. I've been online since 2004. Oh, got it. Okay. So today we're really going to just really dig deep into creating these um, passive income streams and starting to create wealth for yourself. So again, David, welcome to our program. Thank you. Thank you, Tara. You know you're one of my favorite people, and you're an insider, so I love that. I am an insider, and it's fantastic. And in fact, you know, one of the things that's really neat about NAMS and the way that the NAMS training system is set up is there are four different tracks, kind of like going to college, 100 to 400 um, series. And I was sharing with another guest that I've had, Kelly McCausey, on content curation. Mm -hmm. I was at the event in Atlanta in August, and I snuck in, she said, into her content curation <laughs> course, which was a 100 level for beginners. And what's so great, I shared with her, it doesn't matter whether you're a beginner or an expert, because I learned something from Kelly at the event in a basic level course. Right. So it really doesn't matter what track you're on. There's so much still to learn in every track. Well, there is. And one of the things that people don't realize is that we get a lot of people who are more advanced, like yourself, who come back then into the 100 courses to actually pick up some more basics. Because things change, you know, and sometimes there are basics in those uh, 100 level courses that you just need to remind yourself about. And those are really important. So we get yeah. people going backwards sometimes, too. Right. It's very, very true. So, David, why is creating passive income streams so important for our listeners to achieve greater success? Well, I'll give you an example. Um, uh, February of last year, we were hacked at the workshop uh, on the Sunday of the last day of our workshop. And, um, and so it was really terrible. You know, I, uh, we went to the workshop sales page for the next event because we always sell our next event on the last day of the workshop. And there was a big old sign posted up there that said, you've been hacked, and I'm going to expose your database, I'm going to do this. We had to shut everything down. And, uh, and I take all of this very seriously. So when this person had gotten into the site somehow and exposed, it created a snapshot, basically, of my database, um, we shut everything down and took it offline. We kept it offline for six weeks. Um, until we discovered, we went through and cleaned every file, 70,000 files, 
and we went through and cleaned every file to make sure that we had everything protected because you know I wanted our customers to feel incredibly safe and I explained to them what we were doing um, and, and I'm a little off track here but I'll just tell you that they really appreciated that of, out of all of our members in six weeks I lost three out of all of our members because of the hack because we approached it the right way but if I hadn't had 63 percent of my income coming from external affiliate programs I'd have been out of business because there was just no way I could have recovered from that as it was we lost a ton that month from anticipated income but it would you know if you don't have diversified streams of income coming in, in on top of your own product sales um, you're going to be in trouble at some point you're going to find yourself having a rough spot and you need that additional um, external income diversified income to really smooth things over and that's why it's so important for people to make to promote other people's products basically Wow, really great information shared there David thank you for sharing that what really is passive income by definition well in my mind it's very simple it is uh, do the work once get paid forever I didn't coin that phrase I heard that from Mark Hendricks and it was it always stuck with me and it was but it was also something that I knew intuitively because I had always been interested in royalty business you know like music business or licensing of any sort I had a stock photography agency for um, about six years after I was in the newspaper business had 300,000 pictures on file and 150 photographers that I represented and we sold pictures based on use so if somebody licensed a picture for a 30-day use and they liked it and they continued using it they kept paying for it right so that is passive income the work was done once we got paid again and again and again now I love affiliate marketing because it is exactly that it um, and, and I've just come to realize that um, insurance agents work this way uh, I've got a really good insurance agent I love his I love him and the way he does business and he's a state farm agent and so I asked him I, uh, to confirm this I said you know I, I want to get this clear when you sell me a policy any policy you're getting a commission on my purchase for as long as I continue to pay that policy right and that's absolutely the way an insurance agent works so that's why people get into that business and they sell they sell um, policies continually sell policies to build that base of income as they expand their business and as they expand their policy sales they get more and more income because it's continuing to come in from what the work was that they've done in the past that's affiliate marketing to me if you find the right affiliate programs now there are some affiliate programs which have uh, um, cookie based systems I, I'm completely against those and I'm on a crusade to change that because I want it to be software tagging. I call it lifetime. I call it uh, lifetime database referrals, um, so that you are tagged in the database with your um, referral. So that, for example, I think uh, Nicole or Kelly brought you into the system, into our system. I'm not sure, uh, but whatever you purchase from us going forward, they're going to get a commission from that. They don't ever have to refer you again. Nobody ever have to has to refer you again. And one of the things, this is always developing for me too, by the way. And one of the things that I realized not long ago was that with people who have systems like that, I can actually do list building in their system because I own that list in their system. Nobody's ever going to make uh, a nickel off of you in my system except the person who referred you. That's true passive income because you refer pe uh, somebody one time and then you collect money onward. Make sense? Oh, it makes so much sense, and I'm so glad that you went there, David, because so often I hear people say, um, you know, um, that they have lifetime cookies to their website, but it's real—it's a cookie. It's not a, a membership site. Right, and a cookie is is a good thing. A lifetime cookie is a good thing. I've made a lot of money on lifetime cookies from from work that I didn't do, but at some point they're going to go away. Cookies expire. They get overwritten. Somebody uh, clears the cache on their computer. Cookies are gone. Um, it's, and a cookie is simply just a little piece of text that's stored in your browser that uh, tells people where you are and what you um, what you what you who brought you in basically but it's on your browser it's not in the software database anywhere so once you take that piece of uh, information away it's gone okay 
Thank you. That's a very, very clear. So remember, guys, when you're looking around for programs that you want to promote or get involved in, make sure you're getting into something like David uses, which I believe is an A member um, type of program. Is that correct, Amy? Yeah, I do use A member, and I also use. Um, I, I don't use it yet, but I'm probably going to start moving to Infusionsoft as well, because Infusionsoft allows you to do the very same thing, and I think that's really important to do that. So. I think that's great. you get to reward people for doing the right thing and sharing yourself uh, or themselves with you with others, so it's perfect. That's right. So, David, let's talk a little bit um, about NAMS for, for a little bit and generating this passive income which you teach inside the system. Um, how do your students typically get started with NAMS on a basically a step-by-step -step basis? Well, it's not just NAMS. I mean, I really do teach people. We, we've got something that I call the, the PIE test. It's the Passive Income Evaluation Test. It's five steps. The first step, and let's see if I can remember them. The first step is to um, make sure that you're involved in a program that is the Lifetime Database Referral. In other words, the, the affiliate program. And you should ask this question because often a product owner doesn't know this, the answer to this question, and they need to know, know the answer to this question. Is this a software tagging system? Am I going to get credit for the referrals that I send in forever? That's first question. That's passive income question number one. Lifetime database referrals, yes or no? So it's basically a yes or no question. Uh, number two is do they have a lot of products? Uh, we have over 400 products in the NAM system. Uh, if, you, if you're promoting somebody else's program who um, has one product and it's lifetime database referrals, you can only sell one product. So, you know, great that you made the sale on that, but if they don't produce a lot of products, you're not going to get more sales. So they've got to be active producers. Uh, the second thing is that they've got to be uh, incredibly high quality products, because if they're not high quality products, uh, you're going to get a lot of refunds, and that's going to not, not only cause you financial problems, it's also going to ruin your reputation. So you want to make sure that the people that you deal with have a, a refund rate of less than 10%. I prefer it to be in the 2 to 3 percent range. Ours is in the 1 to 2 percent range. Um, and that is um, an incredibly important factor to take advantage of in the passive income evaluation test. Th that was number three. Fourth is, um, what is fourth? I always get stuck on number four. Five is analytics, knowing your numbers. <laughs> uh, five five is, is making sure that you have access to numbers that tell you what's converting and what is um, uh, what 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 rewards you're getting for your efforts? We actually built out a reporting system, custom reporting system for our affiliates. They can click on an analytics tab on our site, and it takes a while to generate this report. But once they do, it shows them all of the products that they have sold, and with a drop-down box, and uh, what your conversion rates are, what your commissions are, and what your um, refund rates are on all of those things. So. It's really important to do that too. I wonder what number four was. I can't remember. That's okay. We can come back to it shortly. It's fine. You'll remember. I will. <laughs> so David, if our listeners got started today with starting to generate a passive income for themselves, yes. what could their life look like in maybe 30 days, 60 days, a year, three years from now? Well, you know, I relate it all to the NAMS 100, 200, 300, and 400 system. Uh, because if you are, and I've got coaching students all over the map here, uh, if you are somebody just coming in and you don't have a website or a blog or anything to promote, you don't want to know what your niche is, uh, the first thing is that you're incredibly confused, right? So you don't know where to start. I always send people back to their passions. Uh, did this yesterday with a coaching client who um, came in and said he just wanted to build a general list that he could send, promote people to different things. Well, that never works. You can't build a general list. You have to build a list that is targeted if you're going to really talk to and build relationships with those people. Now, you can have a general list later on, um, but to get started, you really want to focus in on something that you're interested in. So instead of uh, something that he thought was hot, like um, health and beauty or fitness or whatever it was, which he had no experience in and he was buying PLR articles for, uh, I, I encouraged him to look at his own life and figure out what he was good at and what he had done and has some passion about. And so then the next step, the very next step after that is uh, going out and figuring out if there is a market for that. 
before you invest any money in anything. Figure out if there's a market there. And uh, in his case, I know there is. So um, he's going to go out and, and really start putting together a uh, product of his own to, uh, to promote to this market. But the first thing he can do is promote other people's products into that market to test that market. And that is low cost. You just sign up for an affiliate program and you start posting into forums and on Facebook and you might buy an ad or two if you want to get started quickly um, and, and you um, that's, that's basically the way you start generating a little interest and income. When that's working then you start moving through the rest of our 200, 300, 400 system where you can actually manage your traffic and you um, manage your content creation and all of this to start building more assets and products by the way you want to want to start building your own products because that's another diversified income stream for you is high income high ROI products and then you've got something for affiliates to promote for you it's all kind of circular it all just meshes in together but you start with piece by piece from the very beginning okay uh, let's see there was something else I wanted to say about that um, no, it's in another. I, I think we'll get to it in a little bit as we go. So go ahead. <laughs> Perfect. Um, how about David? You know, um, are there specific roadblocks that you know typically stop people from even getting started? Yeah, absolutely. And and unfortunately, it's not a good answer. Um, see, I've got this ear on this side of my head, and I have an ear on this side of my head. All of my roadblocks exist between those ears. It's, it's all of the stuff in here that causes me to have issues and causes everybody else I know to have issues about um, getting started and maintaining a business. People give up because of what goes on in their head. Uh, this is a learning process. It's a skill that you learn. It's like, uh, it's like a spiritual practice. People don't become enlightened uh, overnight, it, and it's called spiritual practice because it's practice. You know, I've got a guitar sitting in the corner of my basement that I paid a thousand dollars to take lessons on about six or no ten years ago, um, and and I haven't picked up that guitar in two years. Now I can't pick up that guitar and think I'm going to be able to play it, right? I can't even tune it right now um, because I don't practice it. If I really want to play the guitar, I've got to practice, and it's the same with business. You got to do the things, you got to do the work, you got to do the practice, you got to build the habits. So those are the roadblocks that we all we get lazy, we get uh, we we buy the hype. That's a big one. We buy the hype. You know, when I saw an email this morning that said today is closing on business in a box. There is no such thing as a business in a box, <laughs> unless it's McDonald's. <laughs> you know, <laughs> if you want to buy a franchise, great. That's a business in a box. But even that has so many constraints and so many habits and rituals that you have to do that's the reason it's a franchise it is a laid out process that you follow so roadblocks are here right there in your head oh awesome tips that you shared there David and I and I really appreciate you, you just letting us know that all of that stuff those blocks it's all us it, it, it is. is not the process so no. I guess the strategy maybe that are the keys to unblocking those uh, uh, unlocking those roadblocks would be do it anyway and just keep doing it until you get it. <laughs> well, that's that is true, but at some point you have to evaluate. I'm a numbers guy. You know, I have uh, I I really I, I feel completely blind if I don't know what my conversions are, if I don't know what my traffic is. And and unfortunately it has been really hard to set up all of the Google funnels that I wanted to set up in Google Analytics. So I've been looking for all the different traffic, right? Uh, you and I have a con had a conversation the other day about how to do conversions from solo ads. And um, it's all about knowing where your traffic's coming from, what's happening between the, the, the initial link and the sales, right? Now, that sounds complicated, and that's something that could keep people from getting started. But there are simple ways to understand the numbers. The numbers are basically add, subtract, division, right? Because it is how many people clicked on my link, how many people went to the next process and bought, and that gives you the conversion ratio. Once you know your conversion ratio, what you have to do from that point forward is tweak it to make it better. So, you know, just doing the same thing over and over again never works. Never, ever works. Because you can, what, my Alex Mendozian says something I just love, and he says the only thing that's worse than, um, worse than failing 
is failing enthusiastically. So, you know, you know, you don't want to go down the wrong path enthusiastically. Uh, you want to make sure that you're measuring and tweaking along the way. Uh, the other thing that, that Alex says, and I just love it, and I don't know if it's his, um, oh, no, it just left my mind. Um, you know, he, he always says, you're not as good as you think you are. You're better. Uh -huh. Take the time to, you know, learn the process, find a coach to help you when you get stuck, and, and you know, you'll blow your own mind, I think. <laughs> yeah, you know, Alex and I have gotten to be good friends, and I really, he is one of the most brilliant people I've ever seen. I watched him. Um, I watched him do a 90-minute presentation this last weekend in Denver, and um, the man is a genius when it comes to presentations and sales. I mean, he sold out his $2,000 product um, in that room uh, before the presentation was over, and he does things completely differently from anybody else, and he says exactly what he's going to do, and then he does it. So he's completely transparent about it. So the other thing, that's, that's a, and that's a really good point about opening up the blocks. You got to be yourself. No matter what you do, you if you're not yourself, you're you're lying basically. And if you're lying, it always comes through. That's very very true. So thank you for that. So let's go back now to to our, our passive income streams. What physical action steps do you want our listeners maybe to take so that they can get started generating passive income for themselves? Sure. Um, we've kind of covered it a little bit. The very first thing is to do a little market research. Now, uh, I'm going to suggest people do a little market research with themselves because I am a big believer that you do what you love. If you don't do what you love, it's a job. Um, and the reason we do the online business thing is because we try to do what we love. So um, there are people out there who are who are really good business people who just go where the money is. Um, now, you want to make sure that there is money in what you love. So um, I, I, I'm going to encourage people to do something that, that I call Prosperity Scrabble. I did not make this up. Uh, Frederick Lehrman did this in the late 90s, early 90s, in a, a Nightingale Conant um, uh, tape set called uh, Prosperity Consciousness, which I recommend everybody listen to. Um, and he talks about it there, and it's Prosperity Scrabble on the sheet of paper, 8 by 10 sheet of paper. On one side, you write down, um, and this works well in the spreadsheet, by the way, in one column, you write down the things you love to do, the things you love to do. On the other side, you write down the things you're good at. So then you cut out those little cells of information. You put them on the table in front of you, and you spread them around, two piles, right? Upside down, two piles. So you've got them all squished around, the things you love to do and the things you're good at, and you pick one or two, one from each pile, and you see what they come up with. So when I was doing this in the 80s, 90s, in the middle 90s, after I was listening to his thing, I loved riding motorcycles, right? That was, I had a Harley. I loved riding my motorcycle out in the woods in the weekends and doing stuff like that. On the other side, I picked up that I was good at travel writing. Um, as a journalist, a freelance writer, I was good at travel writing then, and I really enjoyed doing that, going places and writing about it. And I thought, wow, I could take those two and make a business out of that, right? So two things, something I'm good at and something I love, put it together, and you got a business. Now, you can get wild and wacky with that. I didn't. Um, and I actually started doing some of that, and I came up with this whole big business plan about writing around the United States, which is still, by the way, on my computer. It's still a goal that I want to do, and creating a book from traveling around the United States doing this. Um, but what that led me to was online business, believe it or not. So it's interesting how it takes you from one step to the next. Okay, that's the first physical thing, is, is just coming up with ideas, right? That's a little market research into yourself. What do you love? What are you good at? Now, once you identify this thing, then you go out and see, you go to a, go to a Borders or to a, a Barnes & Noble or a, a, a Amazon.com and start looking up the topics that you came up with. Are there other people out there doing that and making money at it? Are there buyers in those markets? That's the first, that's the second thing you do is, is identify if there are buyers in that market. And if there's buyers in that market, are there products in that market that you can sell? Not that you create your own product, but that you can sell because you want to be an affiliate first 
and a buyer, by the way. You want to buy some of those products so you can see what they're like. And you want to be an affiliate then for those other people so that you can start making money immediately by selling other people's products. Make sense? Makes complete sense to me. Thank you very much, David. Okay. We, um, we keep talking about this thing called NAMS, yep. the Novice to Advanced Marketing System. You can check it out by going right here, terrybork.com forward slash NAMS, mm -hmm. N-A-M-S. Um, and when they go there, they're going to learn something about your Insiders Club. And I know you have an amazing deal for our listeners today for our Insiders Club, of which I am a member, by the way, and I've got learned so much from. Can you share a little bit about Insiders? Sure. It is the focus now of everything we do, pretty much. Uh, we've had multiple levels of membership, and I still do have multiple levels of membership. But I don't focus on selling any of those um, levels of membership. We really have put everything into the Insiders Club. And we've made it the best deal possible. And we're still in the charter member phase of this. I have a specific number that I want to hit as our base membership. And when we hit that base membership, the price is going to triple. Uh, it is a monthly fee now of $37, and the price is going to go to $97 when we hit that base number. But people can get in to try it for 30 days for 7 bucks. Now, in the Insiders Club, um, you get you get everything that you would have gotten in the earlier memberships, which was you know all the tools and all of the content creation tools, the monthly downloads and those kind of things, and um, and the weekly live training access to to all of that stuff. But in the Insiders Club, we go a little deeper, and what we found is that the people in the Insiders Club are the more serious, the more focused and the people who have a real um, dedication to creating a difference in the world through their business. So we do monthly inside training. There are uh, one Thursday a month, uh, like last, uh, what was it, two weeks ago, I think it was, we did Lou Bortone. Uh, Lou Bortone did the first two hours with us on YouTube marketing. And we get an expert in there who really is good at whatever task that we want to go after, whatever strategy that we want to go after. We've done outsourcing. We've done um, business operations. Now we've done a lot of stuff that nobody else will touch, because it's not um, it's all that sexy sometimes. But if you don't know how to set up your business operations, you're going to fail. So we had the most brilliant business operations guy, Will Matos, who's grown a business in three years from zero sales to ten million dollars in online sales. Um, uh, teaching us about that. Now, the way we have this set up is in the morning we do what we call discovery. In the afternoon we do implementation. So we create an implementation checklist for um, for our members in the afternoon. Then that becomes the basis for the next month of challenge. In the next month we do a 30-day challenge or however long that month is um, where people have to um, go through the processes and actually do what we were teaching in the previous month. So we are big, big, big on implementation. It's really important to us, implementation. When you complete the challenge, and it is a um, an honor system only, uh, people post in there like yesterday all day long, people posting their results from the month. Um, and when you complete your challenge and you say, I've done it, we send you a mug. Here's my mug from last month. Yes, right. I have my mug too. It's awesome. I actually have two mugs so far. Good for and you. I'm getting my third one for the month of April. That'll come in May sometime. I'm so excited. Yep. And you know, it's, you know what, guys? David gives a reward of a mug for completing a task, and he doesn't have to do that. And we call us who receive a mug, we call ourselves muggies. Yeah. And, and <laughs> I didn't come up with that, by the way. <laughs> oh, I don't know where it came from. And it doesn't matter. When that um, box comes in the mail mid-month and you open it, you're like, what did I order? You know, was it Amazon? You know, I'm not sure. And then you open it up and, and it's a reward just for completing a challenge. It's, it's so fun and amazing. And we all go in the chat room and we, we just talk about how awesome it is to be drinking tea out of our, our, our mug or our coffee or whatever it is. And it's, it's a feeling of accomplishment that we took a task that at the beginning of the month was just this big. And by the end of the month, it's complete and it's done. Yeah. And, yeah. and it's such an accomplishment. And yeah. 
the mug is just you know the topping, you know the whipped cream. Well, actually, you know what the mug is. I I started this mug thing um, by accident, really, um, and I created the first one just thinking I would do one month, and and what it is, it is a symbol of celebration. You know, that's all it is. Because you know, you can go buy a mug for five bucks. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a big deal. The mug is not a big deal. Although these are customized each month that have the NAMS Insiders Club with a new design, and it's by the way designed by one of our members. Um, and he has a he has a printing business, so he does this. And, and um, um, but but what it symbolizes is a an effort by the by the person to uh, to accomplish something and implement something that is changing their business. And so when they celebrate. When we all celebrate, because I do these too. I mean, this stuff I got to do on a continuous basis. When when we do these things in the uh, insiders group, it's a private Facebook group. When we do it in there, it is a real celebration for people. Now I said something there too. I do these things too, um, and I post about it. I, I'm very transparent about what I'm doing in my business. And uh, for example, last month we had to do a business map. I showed everybody what my profit and expense. Centers were in the my name's business, and uh, uh, you know, not a lot of people will expose that kind of stuff. But I think it's really important for us to have a group that um, trust each other enough to be very vulnerable and very open about what you're trying to get accomplished. And we do. Yeah. Oh no, it's fantastic, and I'm I'm so appreciative. I've learned a ton of things just by um, being in the group and learning from the. Me Excuse me, the members, everybody so generously shares. Yeah. And it's a group of marketers, unlike any really that I've ever met before. It's, we're, we're really um, focused on growing a business. We're really down to earth people. We have a good time and we have a life. Our, our yeah. whole world doesn't revolve actually even around that one big launch. Our world revolves around creating constant passive income streams that reward us every single month, and it's just not a one-hit wonder. And then you know the money's gone, and then what? You know, so yeah, exactly. The system that you've designed, and I'm so glad. And you guys, right here, TerryBork.com forward slash Nams. Go check it out. It, there's a seven dollar um, look at a complete system that will revolutionize your life let alone your business so you know let me let me just say too that for that seven dollars you don't just get access to the to the insiders group in Facebook that's a really important part of what we do but we also do monthly Q and A's uh, I'm sorry weekly Q and A's on Thursday on the Thursdays that we don't we have one coming up today actually um, and and um, on the Thursday that we don't do the insiders group uh, micro workshop uh, you also get access to the finished micro workshop product. Now I'm I'm no dummy, so when it comes to these insider group micro workshops, I'm creating products, right? So I've got 30 or 35 of these micro workshops that we have created, and I'm selling those for 197 bucks. Um, there are at, when you join at the seven dollar rate, you get three. You get the first three of those micro workshops. That's 591 dollars right there of of um, value. You also get the last month's and you get the one that's coming up in the 30 days that you're active in the Insiders Club. And you get last month's so that you can participate in the challenge. And last month's was YouTube marketing. So you're going to get the one from Lou Bortone and you're going to then be able to participate in this month's challenge which starts today on YouTube marketing. So you know that's five micro workshops at 197 bucks that you're going to get access to in addition to all of the other stuff in the My Name system. So. Yeah, oh, it's definitely worth it for just check it out. My goodness, seven dollars. It's it's a it's a Starbucks coffee for goodness sakes, and you yeah. get a life of passive yeah. income. How great is that? It is. It <laughs> right? is. Thirty days and and relationships that will just blow your mind with people who are really seriously growing passive income for themselves. That's right. That's right. Oh, it's so wonderful. So guys, it's right here, TerryBork.com forward slash NAMS. Now when you go over there you'll also see all the other tools that David has available um, and you can click on some of those things and, and see what he has to offer. And and again, you know, um, I know there's a, a ton of a great stuff and I think um, there's a free report in there too that... Um, there is. It's called Surefire Passive Income and it's all about the pie tests. If you go there you'll find your, it's listed in there what number four is, which I still haven't remembered. Oh, there we go. <laughs> number four. 
more <laughs> from our beginning conversation is the pie test. It's in the pie test. Yeah, it'll be in there. It'll be in there. Now, Terry, the other thing is you, you've been in there a while, and uh, one of the things that I like to do is be incredibly generous to the insiders members, and I hope you think that I've done a good job of that. Oh my gosh, uh, David, you have been so generous with us. Thank each you. Each month we produce what we call the NAMS tutorial pro uh, product, and that is a product that we sell for 27 bucks, and it is, uh, in, it's, it's a focused tutorial, um, and sometimes between 10 and 20 videos, and, then, and it's each task in a tutorial. For example, we got one coming up this week that was on Evernote. And so um, there'll be, I think there's 20, 20 videos in there, and they're three minutes each. So it's a task in three minutes or less on how to do whatever it is in that product. Insiders get that. Um, I also create custom plugins for our site. For example, we have our own video sales letter plugin that goes on sale this weekend. The insiders get the single site license to that as part of their membership. Uh, we're rolling out lots of stuff, and insiders always get some of that to begin with. Um, it's not always the developer license or whatever it is, but it is single site license material. And you know, we'd like for the insiders to use the stuff and um, and to um, tell us how much they love it. So that's it. Oh, it, that's fantastic. And again, guys, there's so much value inside David's program. You know, we talked about the the various tracks that people can use to, you know, 100 to 400. That's inside the insiders as well as the regular names program. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and that's really awesome, too, that you have you know so many things that that you can learn. I I, I went back. I started with 100. I thought, oh, what do I know? <laughs> you know, that's something else. I I don't even get to talk about that anymore because there's so much in there. The, the dashboard in there is 52 modules, uh, from 100 to 400, and it actually is linear that walks you through the process of building a business from from basic to advanced, beginning to advanced. You know, but but we don't talk about that because there's so much other stuff going on. Right. So it is. But well, we touched on it. So I just wanted to make sure I brought that back to. Yeah. To thank, you. thank you. No, no, it's perfect. And and you know, guys, terrybork.com forward slash nams. So David, I, I want to say thank you so so very much for for sharing with me today about generating passive income streams and and just. All the juicy tidbits that you shared was fantastic. Thank you. You bet. Yeah, you you're bet. welcome. And then, fine, do you have a final word for today, David? Uh, the only thing I can tell people is get started. And if you don't know how to get started, um, if you're brand new, get started. If you have been doing this for a while, get tweaking because it's all about continuing to do, continuing to improve what you've already done so that you can build more momentum. And that's what we do. Fantastic. Well, again, David, thank you very much for being my guest today. And everybody, until next time, go mind your business and have a great day. Take care. Thank you, Terry. Thank you. Thank you for listening to Go Mind Your Business with Terry Bork, presented by Extreme Marketing Concepts. If you want to drive more traffic, dominate the market and crush your competition find out how by visiting our website www.extrememarketingconcepts.com and join Terry next time for another episode of go mind your business